Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be probably a little bit random. I am about to head into Walmart. I want to do like a big Walmart shop with me. I'm looking for like fall fashion, boots, home decor, all of the things. I am so excited and I'm secretly hoping they have some Christmas stuff out and I want to go look at all of that as well. So I figured I'm just going to bring you guys along with me and whenever I get home I'll give you guys my big Walmart haul. So this might be like a couple of days in the life but anyway I am excited to see what we can get into and all of the things we can find in Walmart. So before it starts raining, let me run in there and let's go do some shopping. Okay, it's starting to put out Christmas decor. Look at these lanterns are so pretty. I think I'll get one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to get another one of these rain jackets because I just love them so much. This one has the camo. I love this color blue, it's so pretty, but y'all know my heart is like lying with this pink and leopard. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I cannot decide which one I wanna get. I have these cute little Sherpas that are $15.96. Such a good deal. And then also for like the holidays, parties and stuff, I love these little plia skirts. They're so cute and they're only $15.96 as well. Okay, so I'm back from Walmart. I just walked in the door and kind of laid everything out. So I'm gonna give you my little haul. I found some really good stuff. Like I am so excited with all of these things. I got stuff for the RV. I got some clothes. I got jammies, some boots, even one Christmas thing. So I'm so excited to show you guys. And let me tell you, sometimes trying to find the links to stuff on walmart.com can be a beast. But while I was in there, I went ahead and kind of scanned everything so I could save it and easily find the links for you guys. So everything will be linked down below in my description box as long as I can find it for you guys. Um, but anyway, I'm going to flip you guys around and show you what I got. Okay, so I went ahead and put this wreath on this door so I could like show you better. I can't decide if I'm going to use it here in our kitchen like up there where I usually put a wreath um, or if I'm going to put it outside on our front door but I just thought it was so pretty like I love the colors in here I love the pine cones I feel like it had like good texture kind of that like eucalyptus plus the leaves and these little berries like it is just such a a beautiful wreath and I've been looking for a wreath for our house since like early August and I just could not find one that I loved and this one just like spoke to me and it was $20 and I just think it's so beautiful okay and I may be like most excited about this because we needed a like little comforter or quilt in our RV so bad for our bed in there and I saw this one and I just love the pattern of it I think it's so pretty kind of has like that Aztec vibe to me which always makes me feel like you know adventure and travel I don't know maybe I'm crazy but I thought it was beautiful and I scanned it y'all in the store and it rang up as $27 so like such a good price um and then when I went to check out I scanned it and it rang up as 54 but they changed it for me since online on the app it said 27 so I got a still of a deal on this one. And then here is like my one Christmas thing that I got and I just think it's so pretty. And honestly, y'all, I can totally see using this in the summer as well. Like you don't have to use it for Christmas, but it's this beautiful red lantern. And what made me like drawn to it the most is kind of how like they made it look a little bit like rustic. It is so beautiful, only $20, and this thing is massive. So it has this little door. I can totally see like putting candles in there. I plan on using it probably for my front porch, but maybe even like as a centerpiece on our island. I just thought it was so gorgeous. So I got that. And then y'all, my skin gets so dry in the fall and winter and it's already super dry and I have been loving this lotion and I'm almost out. So I went ahead and kind of stocked up on that. And then I also got another one of these brow pencils because I just love this one. It's a great price. It works really well. It's like very pigmented and it's very buttery and soft. So it like blends really easily. So I love this brow pencil. I got another one. 
And then you guys know I love my Aussie dry shampoo. I think they always change the packaging, so I never know if I'm getting the right one. But I'm pretty sure this is the same one I've gotten now like two or three times. It's really, really good and like $5. So if you want to try a new dry shampoo, I totally suggest that one. It's really good. Okay, and y'all know I can like barely go to Walmart and not get a new Bubba Cup. So I saw this one. It's all black and I do not have it. So I went ahead and got this one and I'm thinking I'm going to do like a bright pink vinyl monogram on this. I think that would be so cute and like super southern. So anyway, I got a new Bubba Cup and then we really needed a little vacuum for the camper and I wanted one that was like handheld but also one that we could just kind of quickly go over everything with. So I got this Bissell 3-in-1 Turbo Vac and it was only like $35. So I thought that would be perfect for the RV. It does have like the handheld option. So anyway, I'm excited to try this. We definitely, this was like top of our list of things to get for the RV. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this whole mirror thing again. Y'all know I'm like so bad at it. But I did end up getting this um, blue rain jacket because the pink one had like leopard and my one that I got last year also has leopard. So I got this one since it has like the camo inside just to kind of have something different but it's so cute it's like the best rain jacket ever and then i wanted to show you guys these boots too oh my gosh they are so stinking cute i cannot get over them they have like the best little pointed toe they're comfortable the heel's not too high and they are less than 25 dollars that is like a steal. hopefully this isn't too dark but i also got these super cute jammies they are matching top and bottom i think the bottoms are ten dollars and so are the top they are so soft like so 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 soft um anyway i love the pattern of them they came in lots of different patterns i got them in extra large like wanting them to be oversized and they are huge like i could have gone two sizes down so stay true to size even if you want them to be oversized if that makes sense unless you want them to be really really big um but they are just so precious and they have pockets i love them and then last but not least as far as clothes go i got another one of these cute little sweatshirts they are so comfortable i have this exact same one in the color pink and i wear it all the time it comes in lots of different colors i think like yellow they had this blue a dark navy blue um like a cream color all kinds oh they had like a really pretty coral but i decided to get this blue color because i really like this color and i don't ever wear it enough um but these are just so comfortable they're very like relaxed they have like this slit on the side so it makes it like very flattering wear it with jeans wear it with leggings however you want to do it to sleep in it it's so comfortable so anyway i think this is like 11 or 12 dollars so cute and here's like a better view of those boots they are so cute y'all like they look way more expensive than what they are like under 25 dollars for boots you really cannot beat that and i just think they are so adorable like very western chic just beautiful okay so you meet again in the car this is actually several days later and y'all it is like 2 30 and i have not eaten anything all day so i just stopped at chick-fil-a so i'm gonna eat while i talk to you um my hands like literally started shaking i was so hungry i was like i have got to get something so i stopped and got a kiss meal um anyway several days later i'm back at walmart right now i probably shouldn't talk with my mouth full hang on anyway i'm back at walmart and i actually need to get groceries this time so i'm gonna run in there get groceries and whenever i get home i'll give you guys my grocery haul and i'm also probably going to add in when we went to the apple orchard with my family this past weekend that was so much fun and i don't really have like somewhere else to add it in so this is probably like a really random video um but anyway i'm going to add that to the end of this video um so you guys will see that too but i'm going to finish eating so my hands will stop shaking um run in there grab groceries and whenever i get home i'll show you guys what i got Okay, so I'm back from Walmart. I have everything laid out here. I think my total was like right around $100, so I did pretty good. I got a few things for our camping trip this weekend. We are taking the RV out, and we are so excited. Um, so I picked up a few things for that, but anyway, I'm going to flip you around and show you what I got. Okay, so here is your little overview. I'll show you these things first um, since they're not grocery related, but I found these adorable little headbands and they're actually on clearance for like $4. Um, so I went ahead and got these because I love that color for fall. And then I just think the pearl one is really pretty. So I picked up those. And then in the RV, we actually needed a paper towel holder. We were gonna get one that we could like mount, but from being in there the last weekend, I think it's just gonna be best for us to have one that we can kind of 
set up on the counter, put back while we're traveling. I don't know. Anyways, I got this one. So boring. You guys are like, we do not care about your paper towel holder. And then last thing, non-grocery related, um, if you saw my fall porch decorate with me, I was thinking I really wanted to get some like orange lights for my little hay bale and that whole little area. And I saw these and they were amber lights and I thought that's going to be so pretty. So technically they are Christmas lights, but I am totally going to put them out there and kind of light up my little pumpkin patch out there. I think it's going to look so cute. Okay, now moving on to the groceries. I got uh, some parsley just for a recipe I'm going to make this week some lemons and then lately at nighttime Bunky and I have been baking cookies I know that's like so bad but it's just that time of year that you want something warm and sweet at nighttime and I love sugar cookies so I got us this and then also these thin cut fries for our air fryer and then you guys know we love this Parmesan and it's like the cheapest at Walmart so I'll always pick it up whenever we're there and then of course my favorite wine the Robert Mondavi Cabernet Sauvignon and then I also picked up these lasagna noodles because I'm thinking I'm gonna make a soup and it calls for those so hopefully that's gonna turn out pretty good I may film it and then also for the camper I got this little thing of pumpkin spice creamer because we want to make some warm hot coffee in there this weekend it's actually supposed to be cooler weather so we're really excited and I was like yes we need some pumpkin spice and I didn't want to take like a big bottle of creamer so that will be perfect and of course I got my iced coffee and then we were almost out of this um, hungry jack pancake mix and you guys know we use this to make our sausage muffins and I want to make those again soon so I picked up another box of that I'm gonna come back down this way and then you guys know Bunky loves his little Mio energy so I got him another one of those and then some tomato sauce and also some tomato paste and that is also for that soup recipe and then y'all know I love my little Walmart hash browns so I got another package of those and then obviously for the sandwich king I got him some sourdough bread that is actually my favorite kind and Bunky likes it too so I got that for sandwiches this week and this weekend in the camper and then we were all out of eggs so I had to restock us on those and then I also picked us up some chicken tenderloins and some basil this is also for that soup recipe and then if you guys saw our like game day football food recipes that we just posted I was all out of um, dill chips and I wanted to make fried pickles so I restocked us on those as well and then I have been loving having rice pilaf like as a side dish so I got us another one of those and we were completely out of honey mustard and you know I cannot go without the honey mustard so that I can make our little dressing marinade for our chicken and then I also picked us up some butter and then this Pam avocado oil spray. I really enjoyed using or cooking with avocado oil. It is very expensive, but I was like, this will be perfect to kind of spray to make eggs in the morning or an omelet. So I picked up one of those. And then I'm really excited about this. I love Jiffy Cornbread and I saw this one. I don't know if I've ever seen it before, but it's the honey cornbread mix. And I was like, yes, please, that sounds amazing. So I can't wait to make those. And then I got us another box of these instant mashed potatoes. Those are our favorite ones. And then for our trip this weekend, I picked up these dill pickle chips. If y'all haven't tried these, they're really good. And if you love salt and vinegar chips, you will love those. And then I got Bunky, these little Fritos. They're the honey barbecue flavor twist. I think he likes these. I couldn't remember, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, he likes those. And then I got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch for Mr. B. And I have been craving some smacks. I used to love this cereal as a little girl. And I couldn't find a small box. That's what I would have preferred to get. They only had the family size. So I was like, oh well, I'm getting the family size. I cannot wait to have some cereal because I love some good honey smacks. So I think that's everything. I didn't do it too bad. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away. Okay, so now that I have all of that put away, I think I'm gonna take you guys back to this weekend to go pick apples with me and my family in the mountains. We had so much fun. It was a little hot that day and a little crowded, but they still had plenty of apples and we had such a great time together. We even stopped and had lunch in Blowing Rock and it was beautiful. So anyway, I'm gonna take you guys back and then I'll probably end the video there. So thank you for hanging out with me. I love you guys. All of the links for everything from Walmart that I can link will be down below in my 
description box so be sure to check there i love you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and keep watching you're trying to make me mad <laughs> Do you know here. what you're asking for? A chocolate croissant. No, B. Hey, how are you? Uh, doing good. How are you? Doing amazing. What can we make for you today? Uh, may I have the uh, uh, just the, the double smoked bacon and cheddar, yeah. please? What else today? Uh, that's all, actually. Just one of those? Yes, please. Isn't your passenger going to be coming? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 528. We'll see you around at the window. Thank you. Selected in our apple picking. Look, that's the jackpot right there. Watermelon. Yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect, Bunky. Yes. Get him. Get on his shoulder today, Joe. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want me to pick some more from right here? Yeah. Hey, honey. We'll need to get walking if we got all the people. 